I had to find that spot that every player, every person needs to find, and that's their true identity. Who are you really? You need to know exactly who you are. And once you have that understanding of who you are, it gives you a tremendous amount of confidence because there's only one you. I need to know who you are as if you're going to describe who you would be. There's 40 people going to be on the ice at some point during the game. How am I going to know how to look for you? Don't tell me your number. Don't tell me your name. Just tell me things in which you're going to do consistently that you're going to now jump off the page from me and I'm going to be able to clearly see who you are. You are your identity. That's not going to change. No one's trying to change that. As a matter of fact, we're trying to make that better. We're trying to enhance it by adding different pieces and different parts. If you want to play in the National Hockey League, there's only 700 jobs. Yet there's probably 1,500 more guys who are capable of playing. So what separates you from the next guy? How come you are going to have that spot and these other 10 guys are not going to have that spot? You need to have a calling card, something that separates you, a uniqueness in your skill set, an ability to perform not only that role, but do it in such a way that creates a uniqueness about you that we can't find in someone else. What we look for as we go through the Pandora skill set is ways in which you can blend skills together. That is what allows you to build calling card type habits. A habit, something that you do consistently, but is, it represents a calling card. It, it's unique. It's like a singer with a voice. You hear, the, you hear them on the radio and you know instantly who's singing. I should be able to come and watch a game and I should be able to watch and then all of a sudden someone will do something that catches your eye and then you look and it's you. It's you doing something unique. Two or three separate skills that done in isolation, anybody could do, but you express them uniquely because you're able to do it with a level of athleticism and fluidity that separates you from everyone else. That is a calling card and it comes from blending. This is why elite skill development is so difficult to attain because that's what it relies on. It relies on blending. The ability to take these things and mesh them together and have it come naturally to you. There's lots of things that prevent this player from being able to make plays. We need to identify what the most important one is and start attacking that. That's called a Pandora skill. So for example, we've taken this player. He's very good on his offside because his shoulders get open. He separates his upper body from his lower body. He still remains a personal threat. His stick's on the inside of the ice. He's able to establish himself as a shooting threat. He uses that shooting threat for deception. He's able to make plays from that deception. That's exciting. When he goes to this side, you don't see any of that. He's closed. He's very much in tune with his body from a sense where his upper body and his lower body are linked. He's not able to turn and open up his shoulders. He loses a lot of range when it comes down to his ability to find other players. He panics because his sight lines aren't quite where they are. The game kind of speeds up a little bit. You can see how anxious he is. He's too willing to give up the puck. What's the most important skill? Well, he needs to evolve. He needs to change. And he's smart enough to understand that his game has to continually adapt and adjust. He's got to constantly redefine certain areas of his game. There's always certain levels of inefficiency. So for me, I can identify what those are and create new pathways of performance. So if that's what he's looking to do, my question to you is, what are you doing?